Hello and welcome to Zachary 3 TV. This is the Cars Lane Cup Series here at Portland. Last season we raced here. Oh, and we got Reggie with us in the booth. Uh, last time we raced here, uh, one of the few races I just remember off of memory. Usually I, my memory doesn't go too far for races anymore, it seems. But uh, last year, uh, to the race, race 11. Last year, race 11 this year as well. Um... Cody Goforth started pole. It was 15 laps. Cody Goforth started pole. I think it was five laps in. Got passed by Sean Ard. And Sean Ard ended up getting his first career win. So, situation today. Sean Ard starting, uh, I believe he's starting inside the top 10. About 10th, maybe. Somewhere in the area. Based on what I'm seeing. Different car, different team. I think. Actually, no, I think he's on the same team. I don't remember. Anyways, um... You know, I remember something that. Uh, what do you remember, Reggie? This is the track I got hurt at last season or two seasons ago. Well, that I do not remember. Granted, I probably should. I think we ran here in 2022. I know for sure we ran here last year without a shadow yeah, of a doubt. I got hurt last year too. <laughs> I hit the wall on over and forget what corner it was. I think it was the carousel. I got shoved off the racetrack. Well, hopefully, I don't have it again. Now, difference to this track, it's a 2023 version. I got it from Area 23. Area 23. Credit to them for that. Um, there is a front stretch cane, so keep that in mind. Shouldn't affect anything too badly. The test shouldn't be too bad. Granted, they're going to probably go four wide, five wide in there, but uh, I haven't really seen too many, anything too cataclysmic out of that. <laughs> um, but anyways, like I was saying, Sean got his first win at this track last season to the race, so... Um, he has won, I believe, three times since then, I think. Don't hold me to that. Um, he won another time that season, and he's won twice this season already with the Jazz 500, and I believe he won Wil Hillside. Um, he's the only driver this season with two wins at the moment, race 11, so he's currently looking to be the dominant car of the season. Uh, you know how last season we had Joy Paints and Barney Thresher each count up for ten or four wins each. They're actually both starting up front-ish as well, so uh, I wouldn't say quite keep an eye on them, but, you know, uh, don't count them out, I guess, would be the way to put it. Um, exactly. I'll slip off for a second. Be right back. All right. Reggie's going to be right back. But both of them top 15 in standings in the less, so that's good for them. Um, Sean Ard he has also the points leader right now, only by 18 points in front of Jeff Jordan. Now, if this race would finish where it's at right now, I think he would gain on that points lead. Um, but 50 laps this time. 15 last season. We're doing 50 this time. So, you notice this, the upload's been slower. I uh, haven't been as consistent. I've been more focused on the online side in our 2003. So, uh, less time to put towards this series. So, I'm trying to do longer races. That way, it'll be worth the while of the wait. Uh, there's not more points on the table. I just think it makes the race more fuller, if you would. I've seen leagues do longer races and whatnot. It made them work, so that's interesting. I did the test. Uh, I went in, drove, hit F3 or F4, whatever button it was, to see how many laps I got off gas. These guys should have 25 laps of gas in a 50-lap race. So there could be two stops, might be one. So that's going to be very interesting in strategy, I think. If we don't get any yellows, and if we get any yellow, it still could get interesting. We'll see. But more on that in a bit as we're about to get the command, start the engines. Drivers, start your engines! Command has been given. Engines are firing. One thing I have not mentioned yet, Lyle Toledo on the pole. He is a rookie. At the moment, he is also leading Rookie of the Year standings, currently 12th in standings as it stands. With this pull, it gets a little 10-point bonus, so it's going to help him out quite a bit. Hopefully he can finish well and get, get something done with those points. Starting next to him, Gar Salamander, who had a very rough start to the season. He's so far had a, somewhat of a turnaround, if you would, in the past few races, so keep an eye on him. And then part-time driver Ian Stiles starting, I believe that's third place on the line. Maybe fourth, I don't remember. And then Roberts Crown Jr. has a very bad streak of races lately. Trying to get something turned around. Barney Thresher also up here. And then last race is winner, Cazzo. Trying to get back-to-back -back top fives. Potentially back-to-back -back wins. We'll see what happens. Uh, Reggie's not here, so I'll call the green. P1. 
Pace cars in. From down the straight green flag here at Portland. And the cameras here are kind of bad, but we're going to roll a spectator for this first turn. Oh, big crash in the back already. The 23 of Sammy in a box. That might be a caution. Uh, let me see if there's anyone else involved in that. Otherwise, I'm just going to roll a single car. Yeah, no, we're going to go ahead and throw the yellow. So the yellow flag is out for Sammy in the box and Bird here at Portland. Roach and German Chigetti 1 also involved. And some other cars kind of trying to get around. Not a lot of damage, I don't think. Uh, to those guys, but rough start to Portland. Test went better, I will say. So let's kind of see what happened here. I know where they're bottling up, potentially going forward wide in some areas. A lot of guys going places. Where there's one. Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like uh, the 23 wasn't ready for the uh, all that uh, with the 50. So we'll go to the race start. It's a good start, goes low, thinks he's clear, and then the checkup, big checkup, just slide slams that, that 50 car, nowhere for him to go. Uh, Bird having one of the lowest DNF streaks, I've just, just from a general consensus that I've seen of any driver in this league, I thought German Chick would have had more damage cosmetically, but I guess kind of looked out there. Oh, Messi did not look out. Oh, yeah, Drummer Chick got in the back of Roach pretty bad, and Messi also got in the back. Of, I believe, some. I think he. I think he got in the back of. Uh, I forget who Messi got in the back of. Messi got in the back of the 66. Got him involved. Just bad situation. So a few cars involved. We'll see. There goes cautions out, and they did race back. So no, no field is frozen. So that's how it works here. Could he go forth? Not running too great right now in that 60 car either. Check our things. It looks like the everyone should still be in it. Uh, the 23, however, and the 81, two of the cars that were involved pretty heavily. Uh, yeah, 23 seeming the box is done on lap one. Not the way you want to end your race. He was having a decent resurgence too, as well. Did not need that. That's going to kill his momentum. Drummer Chick able to continue. The, we know they didn't do very well here last season, but I'd imagine they probably won't be running too well. So they're just probably going to be here along for the ride, sadly. But they're doing all right in standing. Seventh right now, but this race is not going to help them points-wise. They're probably going to have to wait next week. I, mean, I say next week. It's probably going to be two weeks based on the upload basis I've been doing. So... Well, now we have single file starts. Hopefully checkups will be a less of a problem. And it looks like everyone's coming into pit road for fuel strategy, which I don't think is a bad idea. So seeing a lot of gas and goes. In a box, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, seeing a box to lap down. Unfortunately, since he was the reason for a caution, won't be given the lucky dog. So he's going to be moved to the back. I'm going to have to actually pause my game real quick. I forgot to turn on the better cautions EXE. Get my precautions EXC. Double, uh, we want to do double fire restarts. Lap cars the back. Add laps green white checkers just in case we need them. So 23 will be sent to the back after the yellow. And it looks like Messi has retired. We know they plowed into that wrecker pretty bad. So Messi didn't need that. They weren't running too well in standings either. They're 29th. Instincts coming into this race and team box still in it though, so I thought they were out, but I guess it was just a camera view. That front straight looked like a pit lane cam. Don't really like the cameras at this track, but oh well, take what they can get. Bird, you know, got some pretty nasty damage. I don't think he's going to be full speed either him or Drummer Chick 81. Roach, I also think, is not going to be up to speed. So, and I. I I guess uh, the 10 didn't have a good pit stop, so he fell back a bit. Um, 
so that's that. We're gonna go green. Oh, is the base car lights already off? Shoot, we're going green this time. All right. I thought we were, I was just gonna settle going green next time, but I guess we're going green this time will work. Um, so single fall starts now. Hopefully, it won't bottleneck so bad in the turn one. Hopefully, we can get some green flag runs going because if we don't, it's 50 laps. It's gonna be a very painful race. Single car spins. I'm not gonna throw a yellow for her. I'm not. I'm, I'm even hesitant if it's just two cars. And if it's two cars just wrecking, and I'm obviously gonna throw it. That that's what that was. It was a three a multi car wreck, pretty much to say the least. So, pace car is in. And again, down the way is the flag stand. Hopefully, they make the turn one this final or this time fine. Turn our standings off for a second. See what we can do. Green flag back in the air here at Portland. And we, uh, oh yeah, okay. So Sammy the Box could not have went to the back because it was the one to go sign regardless. So there, there was no way I could have done anything different there. Three wise in the back. For the most part, I think everyone made it through turn one. Sammy the Box still up here though. Did, did did LJ a big favor? Held up the 26 and the 55. Oh, Ian Styles in the 86. Getting battled quite a bit. Go 2v2 through some of these corners. The front straight, I'll try to go spectator. Yeah, the cameras aren't great, but we'll do what we can with them. But yeah, nothing I could have did about Sammy Box. He's just kind of stuck up here. Like Sean Ard versus... Barney Thresher the third right now. I don't know what position this is for, but we'll find out soon enough. Sean gonna close the door here. Top ten would be pretty good for Sean. Got his first win here. Definitely want to show when you get your first win in a track. You want to try to do better when you return. Again, that 23 car a little bit off pace, speed wise. So they're just gonna probably drop through the field, kinda. For the most part. Question. Oh, will I have to pit again? It looks like a little bit of bottleneck there with a 63, potentially, I've seen. Yeah, he keeps it going, though. Might have been the 77 of Joy Paints that I was looking at. They're just, just outside the top 10 right now. Having an alright day. He leaves the Warner as well, just outside the top 10 as well. Why does the 77 look all pixelated? Huh. Oh well. But again, like I was saying, 23 dropping like a rock. Trying to get out of everybody's way. Also is trying to... Well, he's really the only car in position for the free pass, but he wants to keep it that way as well, make sure Bird doesn't fall back too far. Chasm might have had a move there. Underneath Lethal, potentially trying to use that lap car as a pick. Let's go to... Oh, let's, uh, let's go to Bird real quick. Um, these guys are up pace enough. I'm not going to manual DQ or DNF these guys, so... Uh, no worries there for them, uh, but unfortunately in terms of positioning, they're not going to finish too well. Both of them being, um, both of them are doing alright in standings for the most part. And yeah, it's definitely going to shake their season up a bit, the way they didn't want. Also, it being a full point season, it's going to be rough for them to catch up. But Lyle Toledo right now looking pretty good, potentially get his first career win. Uh, started pole, got a really good jump that last restart with the help of the 23 not getting a good start, being a lap car. Um, looking pretty good for them right now. Uh, new race team would be the, this race team's first win, I think. Uh, Backstretch Garage Racing Team. They also have hired Yoiko and uh, Jonah Burridge as well. So, we'll see what they're able to cook. But right now, Lyle Toledo still on the show, currently leading Rookie of the Year standings as well. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, we know Gar Salamander also has not won in a hot minute. He's been pretty consistent lately in that 26. Now, granted, last week they had a lot of trouble. A lot of cars had a lot of trouble. No, I say last week, last race. A lot of cars had a lot of trouble last race because North Wilkesboro, and that's just an interesting track. But And we don't go too much into detail on that. 
Zevil has had a rather interesting season. And some top tens here and there, but overall, nothing too surprising. Uh, looks like someone just joined the VC. We're on lap seven right now. Back, Reggie. We had one caution already. There was a wreck on lap one with a 23, 50, 66, and the 881. Uh, the only DNF so far is the five of Messi. Um, then Sammy is a lap down, and um, he's dropping like a rock. Um, what, then, happened to, what happened to Messi? I'm sorry. So what happened to Messi? They played into the wreck. They have no last lap one with the 66. They got in the back of the 66 of Roach. Roach is still running. Not very good, though. The only car they've been able to pass on Merit was, is the 10. I don't know why the 10's so slow. I think the game just doesn't like them. Hey, working on third Alexa gaming here, but the bottling up into that first corner did not help them. That's why these guys in the mid pack are struggling. Don't want to bottle up in the turn one, but they are. Cody Goforth, he uh, started pull here last season, did very well. This season, not quite doing as well. Brad Stover trying to make a move on the top here. It looks like they're going to make it work on Cody Forge, or Cody Goforth. Uh, not a very good position for Cody right now. He's barely inside the top 30. If that, it looks like Vince Freeze is going to try to take advantage of the 89 right now. But a very subpar season for Vince and Brad. Now, Brad, I think, he, he doesn't really have, the, granted, nothing is Brad, but he's had nothing his entire his entire CCS career. Him and Jonah, or, well, no, he got a win. He got a win last year at, uh, Homestead Road Course, and that was about it. That really than that, he's had no consistency and nothing good in the standings. He's never done well in this league, period, point blank. Except for that win at Homestead Road Course last last year. So, and other than that, they've done nothing. And Jonah, as it stands and still stands, he's running about, unfortunately, where he usually runs. Well, actually, a little bit worse than what he usually runs. He usually runs around 20th or so. Uh, just, uh, he's no luck. Uh, they've had a few second place finishes. That They've been in this since 2021. It's 2024 now. Still winless. At least in the Cup Series. Checking our leader real quick. I don't think much has changed. A lot has changed. Gar Salamander has caught up to the 53. Salamander Inc. versus Backstretch Gods Racing Team. Two Ford teams. I would not have expected Ford to be kind of dominant. Well, I'd say that. Ford was fairly dominant last season, other than Sean Ard. But, uh, yeah, that's something. So we may have something going here for the lead for too long. Keep an eye on it for right now. Might be one of those things where like they might catch him and might not be able to do nothing with it, but we'll see how that goes for the most part. Now, they will probably have to pit again as well. Now, granted, with that lap one crash, they were able to top off on fuel, so they may only have to pit once. Granted, there might be some people that might have to pit twice, but I'd imagine pitting once would be the strat the way to go. We probably start seeing that around lap 26, maybe 27, potentially as early as lap 24, if I were to just take a guess. But everybody pitted on that lap one caution and uh, made sure to top off on fuel. That way they would not be at a disadvantage fuel-wise and have to pit twice. Looks like the 53 pulled away from that 26 a little bit. Carson just went 241. Is that? Okay. I'm watching by the way. Oh, okay. Arson just went 241 in the IndyCar. Nice. These guys are not going anywhere near that. They're going, like, 
I, I don't really know how fast they're going to top out, but I guess the speed would is around like 130 or something if I were to just take a guess. Yoiko up here in the top five. We're talking about Brackstretch Garage Racing Team, other than Jonah Burridge, who's just typically not good. Yoiko has been very consistent this season so far. Usually subpar. Every season, pretty much, has been pretty subpar. Uh, granted, usually race 10 was when they fell off, I think, in 2022, I want to say. Or, no, it might have been 2023. No, 2023 was last year. What am I talking about? Um, so they had 2022 was the rookie season. Last year they did. So last year they finished. I can't remember. I think, was it last year? I don't remember. But I know they haven't really had very good seasons at all. They've been winless since their Smosh Championship back in 2021. Um, and they didn't win that Smosh Championship race. Looks like we're chat beeping. It looks like we had some pitch strategy from Bobby Isaac. He wasn't doing too well, so he might as well change something up. I I respect this call. He's going to go for a two-stopper, have that fuel advantage. And tire advantage as well. I don't think he I don't think he's not going to make it to the end from here, so he's going to have to pit again. That's the one thing. But let's see what tires can get him. I think he almost went a lap down as well. Yeah, he almost went a lap down there. And he's probably not going to go a lap down. He's got fresher tires. Uh, we'll see how much tires is going to be a dividend here. Um, if he, if it's not a div, if it's not a good dividend, then Bobby made a pretty bad call. But regardless, he he was last anyway, so might as well try something anyway. Get something out of this race. That was what I was saying. Yoiko, he has been pretty consistent this season so far. So almost got a win last season, but Cody Goforth got his first win since 2021 at Portland, or not Portland, but Denver Motorsports Park uh, last season. He did not win here as he finished second. Today, I don't think he's going to finish second. Has not had the speed. However, he's been able to hold off Brad, and he's he might be putting the pressure on a Gunther right now for 27th. His battle for the lead is heating up just a wee bit. I think Lyle just overall is still better than Gar Salamander. See that 71 pulling away now with those fresher tires. Only car that took that strat as well. No one else pitted other than Bobby Isaac. Lost time is just apparent as well there. Yeah, Backstretch Garage Racing Team could get two cars in the top five today, potentially. Be a lot of racing to go. If it were last season, it'd be two to go right now. It is not last season, so we were in for a long race. 25 is halfway. But yeah, Gar Salamander. Uh, I don't think he. I, th I don't think he won last season. I think he won somewhere in 2022. I forget. I know in 2021 he had a he had a insanity run. He swept the Vegas races that year. That was about all he did. And also got disqualified or something after intent wrecking a playoff driver. But that was 2021. We don't talk about all that. Talked about Zevil. He's having a good run today. 55 Gatorade car. Ian Stiles, part-time driver. Uh, he has one Smos win at New Hampshire last season. Uh, done hasn't done much with it since. And he's having a really good run today. In that 86 for Wild with Motorsports right now. Talking about Yorko. Hasn't had a much success. But... Consistency has been their their key to success right now. Granted, they're not you know showing it in standings right now. 16th in standings, granted, better than last season, I think. But you know, take your W's where you can. 
Bradley Ream third in standings right now. He might get a bit of a gain on Sean Ard, but not much. Sean's only a couple positions back. That would make that, that points lead would still grow since Geff's not even up here. So that's only if it finishes where it's at right now. He's had a pretty decent run this season. Has a lot of a lot of consistency. He won last season at Indianapolis GP. I believe he won this season. I forget where he won, but I think he has a win this season. So uh, keeping it alive. Only season I don't think he had a win was uh, 2022, and he had. The worst season I've he had a horrible season in 2022 and then in 2021 got two wins won the third race ever at Thornton and won Auto Club in the playoffs after he got eliminated in 2021. Rupert Crown Jr. he has had a I'd argue this has been the worst start he's had to a season uh, ever. He is Zach, you chat slash 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 slash. He is second. He is third to last in standings right now. This looks like a Zion. I would say he's pitting, but it looks like he may have had a tire go down, according to what it's saying on the chat. Let's talk about Zine. <laughs> oh, boy. He comes out right in front of Bobby Isaac. I think Zine had more track position, so this... Uh, Zine definitely yeah, didn't... Right back. Uh, another phone call. 10 for. But, yeah, Zine had a... Man, he had a really rough start this season. Had... I think he... He hasn't won a cup race since... Uh, let me actually do some fact check. Did he win any cup races? I don't remember if he won any cup races since uh, 27... Or not 2017, 2019, I think. Uh, and then he came in last... Or no, he came in 2022. I forget. I think he won two races somewhere. And last season he had... Okay season, nothing too special, and this season has been ugh, abysmal. Start a new team, and it's been awful for him this season so far. Hopefully things turn around. For Zion. He is dead last in standings. 210 points back. That's rough. That tire issue did not help him at all. But regardless, that was that was rough. But yeah, new team, new season. Uh, not looking too good so far. And I kid you not, dead last in standings. 2017 champ. <laughs> it's rough. Talking about Roberto Crown Jr., he has a win for every season. Now, he did have a, uh, a consistency of two wins this season. However, he missed out on one last season. He's mostly been a super speedway merchant, to be fair. But, you know, nonetheless, he has some non-super speedway wins. I think he won at Richmond. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think it was Richmond he won at in 2022. And in 2021, he won, I, I can't remember. But I think he has a super speedway win at least every season. And Talladega was last year, uh, fall he won that. Trying to con keep the consistency of a win, at least one win a season. That's five career wins, so that's pretty decent, all things considered. He just had no speed this season. Like I was saying, second to last in standings. I guess you're wondering who's that in that sandwich piece. That's uh, Patrick Miller, number 10 for Cactus Motorsports Enterprises. Or, uh, Cactus, however they call that. But regardless, uh, they've had an abysmal season. Just no luck, really, in that 10 car. No consistency either. So, um, I'll really say that about Patrick Miller. So we won't go to him after. Well, we we seen him in a little bit there beginning. But yeah, Birch Crown Jr. He looked for a top ten today. Hopefully, keep it solid. And then behind him, Sean R, the guy who won later last year, two wins this season, and is looking to be the dominant car for sure. So we'll see how his season goes right now. He's currently in eighth. Behind him, uh, Marty Thurston III. He started a new team. He's looking pretty good. Uh, doesn't have any wins yet this season, but he's got the speed to show for it, and I think he can get one. Behind that, Nada Weeben 10th. He's been very inconsistent, but still holding on. Just doing their usual stuff. I think they got two wins in 2022. 
I want to say they got a win last year. I forget where if they did. But Paints, four wins last year. Linsanity run. This season, nothing yet, but they're still in it. And it looks like Ian Styles in 86 pits from fourth place. We got some strategy here, folks. Some strategy. We also seen, I believe, uh, Dana Pauls Jr. is well on the pit road. Maybe. He did pit, but it was earlier. I didn't. I missed it, so he's still on the track. It looks like Sammy Box just now going a lap down to these guys that already pit. So we may go a second lap down here. So we got a this all here except for Bird, who's like damaged, as well as Drummer Chick 81. These guys. Uh, the two, the 97 and the 71, are kind of on their same strategy, and we see someone else pitting now. Go back to the 81, or pardon, 86, Ian Styles. He's out of pit road, a little bit ahead of that. I think that was, say, Roach? Yep, that was Roach on pit road. Granted, when you have damage like that, it's kind of hard to judge why they're pitting, but I would mostly assume just something to... Get their race out of the dumps. So pit strategies are in full effect right now. Speaking of, the leaders are pitting now. I don't think we had anyone up front stay out. If they woulda, we have we would have some new leaders for sure. No one out front staying out from what I'm seeing. These guys are pitting early. It looks like the 82 is staying out as well as the 8, 60, and 89. They're all going to come out ahead of the leaders right now. Green, or when are they going to pit? Gaming Freak um, did not lead that lap, so went to Toledo. Um, a lot of those guys coming out pit road right now, but pitting a lot earlier than I would have expected. So seeing how tires are going, the two stop strat may not have been a bad strat. Seeing that the leaders have also decided to go with that one. Or I say two stop, be three stop, but two stop on the green flag run if it stays that way. But all the leaders pitting right now. Uh, Gaming Freak, uh, in right now. I think he won twice last season. I think he's our. Did he win the championship last year? I can't remember. I don't remember who won the championship last year. It was pretty forgettable uh, because the system sucked. Um, we're not returning cars on, by the way. That track stinks. Um, I made it myself though too, so that's kind of cool, but still stinks. So is he pit this time, or is he going to try to stay out late a lap? Negative, he is pitting. Does anyone behind him go to the pit road? All of them. Except for... Mr. Brad Stover, he's going to steal a lap here. Or not Brad Stover, but, uh, I guess... No, none of them stay out. Okay, he, he, I guess Ian Stiles stayed out late a lap. Or no, I think he's up here on merit on uh, Strat. Yeah, Ian Styles came in with a clean, clean entry. Had no one in front of him. He's your leader now, I think, on merit. Um, with the strategy, he pitted a little like a lap early, and now he's got the lead by a decent distance as well. Brandon also makes the field a little more spread out as well. Bird might go a second lap down here, but Ian Styles has taken the lead. Part-time driver not here for points. Might steal a win here. I don't think much has changed inside the top 10, though, other than that. Really all stayed the same. There was a bit of gap between the 6 and the 59 now. 21 has fallen back as well. Sean Art, I think, lost a spot or two. And Nottoweep's 10th. Uh, I can't remember if much changed, but if something did, no. I would not have taken much note of it. But, yeah, uh, the Ian Styles in the lead. Now, the uh, first car that pitted, Bobby Isaac, where is he? 21st right now, so. He was. I, I really don't think I str did a lot for him, to be fair. Just had no track position. Passed by Geff Jordan here. Geff Jordan needs points. He's second in standings right now. 18 back. He's not going to catch on Sean right now either. And 
Bobby now disadvantaged tires as well. I don't think his stress going to work for him, but like I said, got to try something. But Ian Styles with a good strat, and he has made it work enough to put him in the lead right now. We're not halfway yet either, so we're going to go probably surpass an hour for sure on the time. Nonetheless, still running. So, you have Jordan up to 21st. Check our standards real quick, see if anything's happening in the back. Uh, drummer Chick, probably go back on another up down. So there's a few other cars. What happened to NH? He's falling back a bit. He just had a bad pit stop or something. Might just not have the car. 38th right now. Not looking too good. Well, right now, we're not halfway yet, so Lyle Toledo definitely does not have most laps led because we're not even halfway. And Ian Stiles is currently leading, so at the moment, Ian is in position to potentially take most laps led. I say potentially. A lot can happen between now and then. And he would not be the first part-time winner this season. We had a uh, 94 of Jet 64 won the season opener for crying out loud um he also won a smos race at talladega uh jet did ian styles won new hampshire in smos and could potentially win here in the ccs Catch them from German Chick 81. We were talking about them. They had that issue on the start. I was talking about I'm probably going to be off case, off pace. They are indeed off pace. So they're just trying to run this race out. So the same in the box and Bird. They all have damage. Just trying to run it and finish this thing. I'd imagine there have been more DNFs. Right now, only one. That's Sandy Messi. Only DNF so far. Not quite halfway yet either. Once across the stripe, this time we will be halfway, however. These guys pitted about five laps ago. Maybe four. My math's not right. We'll see. But regardless, uh, they are uh, probably going to have to pit again, I think. Granted, unless calculations are off or something, but I... If I remember right, you had 25 laps on gas. So, you probably have to pit twice. The question here is, um, I doubt this would happen since they're manufacturer teammates, but uh, does 86 or something get held on by lap traffic? Is lap traffic going to be an issue? So, we'll see if that's going to be a thing or not as this race goes on. But back here, it looks like Toledo's pulled away from Gar Salamander. Oh, yeah, the gaps are just pretty big, as you're seeing now. Not really battles at all. A little bit of damage on Skylar Taylor, running 16th, part-time run, not, not very bad. Granted, uh, uh, Ian Stiles putting on a clinic. Zion has recovered to 17th after that. Not bad, not bad. Granted, he's on older tires. He's a little bit of a disadvantage. But he has recovered nonetheless. And he's in the top 20. So if he can hold top 20, finish top 20, I think he's in good shape. Granted, he's probably going to get passed by a few of these guys. But he can put up a decent fight, I think. Let them use up their stuff trying to pass him. Talking about looking for battles like Jessica and Reggie, former uh, former uh, co-workers, I guess, is the Trackhouse organization. They cut ties, and it looks like the ties are being cut and cut dry here on the track as well. 
the three car battling Jessica. No longer teammates, but competitors in the Cup Series. It's for 20th. A bit further back in the pack. Talking about Jeff Jordan, he uh, finally caught back up to these guys. So he's probably going to, I think he's a bit quicker. He probably passed some of them. Depending, depending on how he can. Passing doesn't look to be very easy from what I've been able to establish. Last season. Then again, last season we had a different version of the track. I don't know what I did with that one, but definitely did something. Uh, Dripsy has gotten around Bobby Isaac. Uh, so it was Crazy BGD. Uh, so looks like uh, Jacob Shingle has some damage. Bobby Isaac has fallen back. There's Gaming Freak. His strategy didn't work out, but Bobby Isaac's fallen back to 25th, looks like. And you can tell he's not on pace. He's got a big group of cars behind him. Got the Wood Brothers teammates back here, the 4 and the 89. Running 31st, 32nd right now. Really, other than that, no battles on the track. Just a lot of guys getting held up by other cars and just trying to keep it alive. In the box, holding up some guys. Oh, holding up the leader. Shoot. Like Ian's gonna pull through around the 81. Lyle is gonna get held up by the 81. These guys are just gonna be in the way, pretty much. For a lot of these guys, might might cause might some guys use them as picks or something to get around each other. For position, 23 might be some pain for the 86, we'll see, but right now the 81 in the way of the 53, you can tell he's losing speed from it. Might allow Garcelami to potentially make a move. Like, uh, Ian was able to get ahead of the 23 pretty relatively easy. I'll leave Birds, the other lap car, up there. Finally, Toledo able to get around the 81. Fortunately, he lost a ton of time to Ian Stiles, and they also get around, got to get around the 23 of Samuel Box. This might also have some other cars get held up, too. We'll see. But yeah, Ian Styles easily gets around the 23. Right now, the 53 not having as much as an easy time maneuvering through traffic. And it looks like our chat button is once again glowing up. The 71 has started his pit strat. And he is out. Uh, overall, I think he gained a few spots. Well, you don't have much traffic in front of him. I think he'll be in all right shape. Leader did pass him. However, he was able to beat Lyo Toledo to the chip. We got fresh tires as well, so he's gonna be getting around these guys. Unless I don't think AI are smart enough to save their stuff, but you've seen how much he was falling back there on that last run. So interesting strat by Bobby. I said I don't think it's gonna work out, but eh, 25th wasn't worse than where he was. It wasn't much worse than where he was running. I think it was slightly better. He was running like 30s, 30s or something. So he's gained something, and uh, he's made some some work with it. So. I, can't judge him. Decent strat. Decent strat. However, that lead has been stretched a bit. Holy moly.
the Bobby Isaac here going to try to unlap get one of his laps back that he lost under his pit strat. Last time we pit, he did not lose time. Um, granted, you know, tires wear and some don't. And then gaps for him and you know, maybe Ian's just faster this run than what Lyle was the first run. A lot can factor in. I think there's enough time too if someone wanted to try a different strategy here up front they really could. Speaking of strategy it looks like um, Zion has pit. This is a scheduled pit stop by Zion. It looked like 17th place coming into the pits uh, which last time I checked. Uh, I don't disagree with it. And granted, I think he had a tire issue initial reason he pit, but I think this has put him in a better position. I don't know where he was prior to having to pit that first time a little earlier, but regardless, he is here. And I'm going to try to make it to the end. He's out of the pit road now. Everyone's still trying to unlap himself. Send it in deep on Ian Styles here. Ian does not want to give it up. I don't think battling a, a car is enough for position to be the smartest idea, but regardless, it happened. I think cost Ian quite a bit of time too. But he's gonna keep the lead, and Bobby's gonna get around him, get one of his laps back, and. Get his run going. Unfortunately, I think that held him up some as well. It's going to probably hinder him in terms of finishing results and in terms of strategy and whatnot. So that probably didn't help him at all, but oh well. Now, who that did help is potentially Lyle Toledo. As he caught a little, he caught up quite a decent bit there. With that 86 getting battled by the 71. And Bird's up there as well. Could potentially go another lap down, but I think he'll probably pit before then. We'll see. Who the next pit... Who, who's going to be the next person to pit? Because these guys, all of them are pitting again. I don't think all of them can make it to the end from here. Lyle gained just a little bit on the 86. The 86 got a lap or two older tires. Might be all it takes. But yeah, had this finished where it would have last season, Lyle would have had it in the back, but now he's having to fight in styles for it. Fiend Styles gets most laps led, those points pretty much go to the dust. If Lyle gets it, it's ten point bonus for Lyle Toledo and uh, he could he he could make something work with it. Potentially put him up top ten in the standings for sure. Especially if he finishes well. Right now he's in prime position to do so. A podium is a pretty good finish. And now a win would be better. Get a little bit more points and solidify any questions that might have been had, I guess. Also put you in a good position. It's always good to get a, you know, as a team owner, get a win. Extra garage racing team. Do something, do some cooking. And he's just keeping consistent with that 86 right now. Nothing too egregious trying to pass him but thinking about that lap or two fresher tires that 53 has and if that's an advantage or not I want to mention I think there's just some sectors that the 86 is just playing better than the 53 oh speaking of pit strat 53 is pitting earlier this time All right. 
this is something. He had a few takers with him, actually quite a few in the back as well. Much more split strat this time. Comes in with Zevil. Zevil, Yoiko, uh, Barney Thresher the Third, Not a Weeb, Joy Paints, Lethal Mourner, that's Rival 48, Jessica, uh, that's, or, uh, Crazy BGD, Daniel Paulus Jr., Geff Jordan, uh, 64 of Jacob Shangle, I believe that's Gunther, Brad Stover, uh, Dripsy, NH, Roach, and uh, Mark Chilton. So, uh, interesting strat there. I think there's a lot of the cars that just were so far back, they're coming at a certain point, too. Here comes Bobby Isaac. He's going to probably get as far as he's going to get in this run. You see Ian Styles in the back. I believe that's Gar Salamander pitting right now. Yep, Ian Styles continues to stay out. Uh, it's a 71 of Bobby Isaac. Still ahead. He is not quite cycle three yet, but looks about right. So where did the 54 cycle out? Not the 54, the 53. 54 did eh, cycle out too bad. Uh, right behind Vince Freeze and Eli the Wolf. I don't think they have pitted yet. That would make sense seeing they're pitting now. Did the 86 pit this time? They did not. A lot of cars pit that time. A lot of different strategies. Frank Chilton on fresher tires back here. Try to get around the 86. But where is that going to put the 53? Cross Sam Lander right on the 53 right now. This could potentially be the battle for the lead. I say potentially. Now who else else stayed out with the 26? I, or the... Um... I, that cycled out weird. I, I don't know. 26 almost came out in front of the 53, but they got fresher tires by maybe a lap or two. Devil might have something for Gar Salamander now. And Ian Styles now in pit road. This could be for the win. Grant lap 38. Um, still quite a few laps to go. But it's really going to come down to whose tires have worn worse than the others. There's Roberts Crown Jr. And I think he's got the lead. No, Lyle Toledo. There he is. Oh, it's going to be close. Lyle Toledo. Going to retake the lead. Pitting a little bit earlier than 86. Nice power move there. Rich Curran Jr. pitted with the 86, and he just now came into pit road, so I don't, I doubt he's going to get much of a gain in terms of positions. Yeah, he's not looking great right now. We got mired up in traffic as well, so not good for Rich Curran Jr. But Lyle Toledo able to power slide their way back into the lead with a earlier pit, and uh. Ian Styles getting all kinds of pressure from Gar Salamander right now. Ooh. When does Gar run out of patience is the question. That 53 is pulling away. That 53 is back in the hunt for most laps led as well. Not to mention. This battle for a second still alive. With the 26 and the 55. I, you aren't going to believe this. Uh, Zion is in the top 10 now. Wow. That uh, tire going down has 
only helped him, it looks like. In the top 10, he could definitely use a top 10 right now in this season. He's still got some tires to save and almost 10 laps to do them. He might lose a spot, but all things considered, not a bad day so far for that 97. Looks like I'm seeing some smoke there. Someone might have came off the track somewhere and wrecked. Won't know for sure, but here's the 60 of Cody Forge. They were, they were pitting from the top five, actually. Uh, offset sequence, unfortunately, but trying to make something another day. They know they didn't have the speed. They didn't quite have the car. Trying to make something of it. They weren't even on the track long enough to be scored top five, but... They were there. Yeah, just a rough race for that 60 team. Didn't get a good start and get a good finish, but 10 laps to go pretty much for the most part is the 53 of Lyle Toledo, rookie of the year contender. Bird's been able to stay on this lead lap this entire race somehow. Is we're going to come to 10 to go this time mm -hmm. by. Reggie Fogelman returns to the booth or to the booth. Some personal issues, I guess. I'm not sure. So uh, Reggie, why are we gone? Uh, Ian Styles was passed by the 53. 53 pitted a little earlier, was able to get the advantage, and. Through all that, 86, I'm not sure what happened, but they didn't quite have as much speed now in this last run of the race, and that uh, 53 has been able to pull away now. Um, uh, they've gained three seconds on the 86 at this point. And then uh, Zine is in the top 10 now. And it looks like... Uh, the six of uh, Bradley Reem lost a ton of spots in that pit cycle. However, still a good day nonetheless. He was looking to potentially gain some points. I was going to say, it looked like he was potentially going to gain some points on Sean Ard. And it looks like he still will. Uh, actually, more than before, Sean Ard fell back to 14th. And that lowers how much Sean will gain on Geff, who's about 10 points behind that. He will still gain probably, but just not as much. That's not over yet either. There's still 10 laps to go, and a lot can happen. You see Bobby Isaac still trying to make something of the day. He's been working really hard to just keep some track position. I think he's been doing all right. He was going to run 30-something if he didn't do this, so I, I got to respect the move. Only a few spots better, but uh, that's a few points. Battle for it looks like potentially 17th or 18th. I think Jessica's got it for now. Dripsy back there trying to work on Gunther and Geff. A lot of orange cars up here. Looks like Gunther got a little bit of front end damage somewhere. Not sure where, but he did get some. Lyle Toledo has caught the 50 of Bird, and so has Ian Stiles. Car Stellimeter and Devil. Now, the thing is, this 50 car has been just up to pace to stay ahead of the leader this entire race. I don't know how picky they are about finishing on the lead lap, but I would imagine they were going to put up a decent fight to do so. Even if that means costing Lyle Toledo his first win and giving it to Ian Stiles, trying to get his first win. Or Gar Salamander, who hasn't won in, I think, a hot minute. Or potentially uh, Zevil getting his first win. Oh, here comes Ian. Oh, close. 
Now, Ian's got fresher tires as well. Keep that in mind. So whatever distance advantage Lyle had, it's gone. E6 is going to try to enter higher, even with the 50 ahead. Oh, he's going to try to use it as an undercut strategy. Oh. Close. Side by side for the lead, with the help of the 50 just being in the way. Oh. 86 is going to send it deep. 53 as well. Oh, the 86 might get it here. Oh, 53 slides it. They almost touch. Oh, 86 has taken the lead from the 53. Ian Styles. He gets the, the battle for most of the is going to be close here at this point. But Ian Stiles has retaken the lead from the 53. And Grand Older Tires was definitely a factor there for Lyle Toledo as Bird just does not want to lose that lap. He has been on the lead lap in this entire race, does not want to lose it now. Granted, could this switch back over and we could potentially see another crossover for the lead? Grant. Not a lot of, not as much pressure as the 53 had here. It looks like 86 can clear that 50 before the corner, as Lyle was not able to do so last time. So that might be all she wrote. Five to go next time by. And it looks like uh, someone is pitting a... Wow, I didn't think Bobby's pitting a third time? Okay, that's... Yeah, now I know this is a loser's track, because not only did he not have any track position, but now he had to pit again. Which makes me wonder, does anyone else have to pit again? Or does anyone else want to pit again? Is it tires that they're having to pit for? Ah, uh, could get interesting, maybe. But right now, Ian Styles has got it. Bobby Isaac comes out in front of the leaders. No issue there. He's probably going to pull away for him. Fuel-wise, everyone should make it. But tire-wise, uh, uh, pitting this late for tires would stink. But AI have their way of doing things. I will say is Lyle Toledo finally gets around the 53 a bird. Or the 50 a bird. Finally went a lap down. Got Garcel Mayer and Zevil right there as well. Now Zevil a teammate to the 50, so imagine probably not much of a fight there for the 55, if anything. He may try to use the 26 as a pick to try to get Zevil his first podium, potentially. We'll see how that works out. These guys are definitely getting held up. That may allow Yoiko and Barney Thresh the third to potentially catch up. Yoiko been fifth all day. Very likely they'll finish there. So they're trying to make it work on the 50. Nothing. 50's making it hard. He's going to try to let that... 55 get around in bed get around that 26 but it's not gonna happen he's gonna give some room for his teammate to go low Fortunately, his teammate slid up so it's gonna be rough but Garcilometer has now gotten around that car now my concern now I know Zion's in the top 10 now but uh does he have to pit again looks like uh he was holding up quite a few cars and it looks like that uh hold up has well I was going to say it has ended, but no, he's still holding them up. He's still holding seventh. He's trying to f defend this top ten with his life right now. He knows he needs it. He knows his tires are dead, too. He's, he's barely able to hold them off. Putting a lot of guys in petition for the top ten. Three guys specifically, the 77 and 48 and the 6. One of them's not going to get one. 
He's hoping they're battling each other like Joy Paints trying to get around that 48 right now. Let's get a good exit here. Only car I can think that would need to pit right now. Hopefully he doesn't have to. He still potentially could get a top 10 if he can hold these guys off. Back to the front, Lyle has not gained much on Ian. I think Ian's got it in the bag at this point. Two to go next time by. Granted, it is not over yet. Watch this battle for seventh right now. That 48 wants it. That 97 is defending for his life. 210 points back is no joke. And that's not going to get bigger either. As he's going to gain quite a bit on Sean Ard potentially. He's going to try to get that below 200 before too long. His season's, his, his season's just been bad. Straight up. And he's going to try to turn that around here. Two to go for him. We'll see where the finishing order finishes for them. Uh, back to the front, the 86, Ian Stiles uh, was able to take advantage of the fresher tires. Made the strat work. Part-time driver, be the second part-time driver to win this season if he can finish it. Lyle Toledo, of course, uh, is going to have to wait another day. He's going to get second, likely. Garcelometer, third, likely. Fourth place, likely going to be the 55 of Zevil. And then behind him, I think, was Joyko, potentially getting fifth. But they're getting pressure from Marty Thurston third, so that's not even set in stone right now. Um, but still likely. I don't think passing is going to be too easy for them. White flag is being displayed now for the 86. One lap to go here at Portland. He won New Hampshire and Smos. Didn't think he'd win here a cup in Portland, but here he is. Ian Stiles, part-time guy. All of Motorsports is going to put them in a decent spot. Constructor standings. Because part-time drivers do count for constructors here in cup. So he likely be a big game change for that team in points, constructors-wise. Again, Lyle Toledo just kind of got screwed over there. Bird really wanted to stay on late lap. Put up a fight. But the... That allowed Ian Stiles to take advantage of his fresher tires that he had. And Ian... He's only got a couple more corners left before he wins his first cup race. And Ian Stiles, Smos regular, 86, is going to win here at Portland. Second place, second place going to go to um, Lyle Toledo. Third place, Garcelometer. Fourth place, Zevil. Uh, fifth place is going to go to Yoiko. Barely. Or, well, no, that's Bird, but still barely. Sixth place goes to Bernie Thurston the third. Not a we've got seventh. He, he did get around Zion, but Zion still holds on to eighth. Joy Paints in ninth. Tenth place is Bradley Ream. Well, that was an interesting race. That was a long one too. Uh, really not much else to say. I don't know, but uh, regardless. Um, we will see you next race. Thanks for watching. It's from uh, me, Reg Reggie. He already left, but um, this is the CCS, and we will see you guys next race. Probably be Smoss.